Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I decided to use up some more of these apples that I have in the refrigerator. You know, they're still good, they still taste delicious, so I'm gonna cook them and make something that I'm calling um, apple pinwheels. So let's get started on it. Okay, so in my bowl I have two and one fourth cups um, all-purpose flour. So to these we're going to add one package of active dry yeast and then two and one-fourth teaspoons baking powder. I went ahead and measured it out just so that the video will flow a little bit smoother and quicker. And then um, this is the sugar, three teaspoons sugar, and then um, one teaspoon salt here. Just throw this in and mix all this together. And then we will... Um, Beat an egg and add that to it, and then it calls for three-fourths cup of warm milk. I'm going to need, need a big space here to roll out the dough because I have to roll it into a very big rectangle, and then I'm going to let that rise, roll it up into like a jelly roll type shape, and cut out these little pinwheels, and then we'll fry them up. It's just a different way of making little apple apple fritters or apple turnovers. So let me add this beaten egg to the flour. I um, didn't film this because I didn't want to bore y'all to death, but I cleaned out my closet where I keep my summer clothes and got out my tub that has all my summer clothes in it and got everything out and packed away all my winter clothes. So it didn't call for much sugar, I don't know why. Okay, so it says to knead, cover, and let it rise for half of an hour. So I'm going to get my heating pad and bring it over here and let it rise on the heating pad. Now I mixed together some cinnamon and sugar because even though the recipe that I'm following didn't call for it, I think it will taste better if I spread a little butter on the dough and a little cinnamon and sugar on it before I fry them. So let me go ahead and I cleaned this really good with um, Dawn. So let me go ahead and get my surface prepared here. Let me go ahead and put my dough out here and knead it and then I will roll it. Um, I said I have to let it rise for half an hour and then we will roll it into the, um, the rectangle shape. I'm still a sniffing and snorting, y'all. I apologize for that. I know, I know it's annoying, but I can't help it. It's just allergy season. Just knead your dough and make you a nice little dough ball. And then I'm gonna wash that bowl out and grease it and then cover this and um, set the bowl on top of the heating pad like Miss Phyllis Stokes taught me to do. Okay, so let me uh, pause you and I'll be back when this finishes rising. Okay guys, so I checked the dough after a half hour and it had not risen enough. Probably because I have it in the stainless steel bowl and it kind of holds uh, the coolness. So um, I do have it on my heating pad, so I'll let it rise an hour altogether. So let me go ahead and um, get this out of the way so I don't get flour all over my heating pad. And then we will roll it out. Y'all, I'm so dumb. I'm like Lamar would say, uh, I ain't got the sense that God gave a billy goat. So I go to get my rolling pin out. <laughs> and guess what I find underneath the cabinet? My pastry mat that I had ordered from Amazon. I totally forgot about it. Well, I already have all the flour out here on the countertop, so I might as well just roll with it. <laughs> oh, Lord, have y'all ever heard that? He ain't got the sense God gave a billy goat. Okay, so what we want to do now is um, go ahead and, and start rolling this out. Let's see. Roll out into long rectangle. And then it didn't say to brush it with butter and cinnamon and sugar, but I'm going to do that anyway. I'll go ahead and... Powder. Go 
put a little flower on it and then we want to roll it in a long rectangle. Like I said, I'm just gonna end up rolling it up like a jelly roll and then I'm just going to cut it in little circles and make like little pinwheel um, apple fritters out of it. I just want to, okay, I think that's probably thin enough. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is melt some butter I will pause you while I do that and get the butter ready. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and brush the dough with some butter and then spread a little bit of um, cinnamon and sugar on it. When I was working for Dr. Corruption and the Devil Wife, <laughs> you know, I would have Friday evening, I would go get off on Friday evening and I lived there. There was a cabana in the backyard and that's where my housing was located. Uh, so, and Jill and I had, well, Jill had a one-bedroom apartment, and I had a twin-size bed in a little cove area of the living room. So I would go to Jill's on Friday evening, and then I would go back to the devil's wife, Dr. Corruption in the devil wife house, usually on a Sunday night because I had to be back at work early on Monday morning. So whatever, I just never knew what I was coming into you know, on a Monday morning. So one Monday morning I walk in there, y'all, and they had had, um, they had this huge commercial Viking gas stove. It had eight burners, it had a, a grill, just everything. So I walk in there, y'all, and that grill is covered in old dried up pieces of lobster. <laughs> they had grilled lobster inside and then she just left the mess there for me to have to clean up. So I scrub and clean and scrub and clean and finally get that thing cleaned. And um, then I go to clean the microwave and they had melted the butter in the microwave and it had exploded. That was just the biggest mess. I was so mad. I mean, on top of being a nanny for four kids, and doing all the housework and all the food shopping and pre preparing the meals. She did the cooking, but I had to prep everything. You know, she would um, let me know what she was going to cook for the evening meal, and then I had to, you know, get the meat ready, wash it and prepare it, season it, and um, cut up all the vegetables and the potatoes, or if we were having baked potatoes, you know, scrub those and get them ready to go in the oven. Okay, so, what I'm going to do, I sliced up all of my apples. I may have to pause you and slice some more. I don't really know. Okay, so what I want to do now is just start lining them up. <clears throat> I've never made a jelly roll before, so I don't even know if I can do it. Anyway, okay, so what I'm going to do now is just bring this up and over and then just try to seal this edge here. And look, I didn't even use my pastry cutter. Okay, now what we're going to do is cut these little pinwheels like this. As soon as the oil gets hot, we'll start frying them. Go ahead and cut the little pinwheels. Oops, of course they want them to fall out. Anyway, that's what it looks like. Roll up and slice and fry. Boy, this pastry cutter thing is neat. It came with my pastry mat that I forgot to use. <laughs> These a little bit thicker than enough. Let's go ahead and put this little end piece in there and see if the um, the grease is hot enough. Yes, it is. I can even turn it down some.
y'all, I can smell the cinnamon and the apples already. I know these are going to be delicious. Let me show the little apple pinwheels. This is what they look like. Whoops, coming off the plate. So I just want to put a little confection of sugar on top. And then I will taste. I don't know, I've never had one before. Let me stand over the sink so I don't make a big mess. <laughs> mm. Wow. Mm. They're so crispy and delicious. You know what they remind me of? Those funnel cakes that you get at the carnival. Except they're apple flavored. Mm. They are delicious, y'all. So I'm glad that I put the butter and the cinnamon and sugar on the dough because that made a big difference in the flavor. They're delicious. I'll leave the recipe in the description below. I hope you'll give them a try. You can use whatever kind of fruit you want. So y'all please give me a thumbs up and share my videos and subscribe. And you just keep on coming back. Bye guys.